In this module, I'm going to show you how to certify a Category 6A patch cord correctly. I'm also going to show you how it's done incorrectly. So, on my DTX here, I have the two channel adapters. This is what ships with the DTX cable analyzer. And I've connected my Cat6 patch cord from the main to the remote. My test limit has been selected as TIA Cat6A channel. I'm good to go. Let's hit that test key. Now, while it's running, let me explain why this is wrong. Whenever you do a channel measurement, the connection to the test equipment is ignored. That's a requirement of the standard. So, this RJ45 plug here that we're interested in is how well it's been terminated is going to be excluded from the measurement. And when we look at the result, we see that the near end crosstalk margin is 18.1 dB worst case, which is suspiciously high. Typically with patch cords, we're talking single digit numbers. The reason why is twofold. Not only are we ignoring that RJ45 plug termination here and also at the remote, so we're just measuring cable, we're not measuring connections, we're also applying the TIA CAT6A channel limit line, which is based on four connectors. It's very much a relaxed limit, time, limit line as what is stated in the standard. How do we do this correctly? Well, first thing we do is we get rid of these channel adapters. We actually have dedicated CAT6A, CAT5E and CAT6 patch cord adapters. Now you'll have to forgive the, uh, the labeling on here. At the time of this video, uh, demand for these adapters is so high that there are none in the factory. I actually stole these from a colleague of mine, Cube. It's the weekend. Um, hopefully he won't notice. They'll be, I promise they'll be back on his desk on Monday morning. So they are labeled main. and they are labeled remote. Okay, if you saw the M12 patch cord testing video, you know what's gonna happen next. We're gonna change the test limit. And with twisted pair highlighted, we can hit the enter key and enter again, F1 more, and we're gonna cheat and go page down. And here we see M12, 5E, 6 and 6A. I want 6A, so CAT 6A patch cords, hit the enter key. Now this is where we're going to pause for a moment. You're not going to get a TIA option for testing CAT 6A patch cords. With 5E and 6, the TIA and ISO standards are aligned. With 6A they're not. The ISO 6A connecting hardware is a little bit more strict than the TIA CAT 6A connecting hardware. So instead of coming up with two versions of adapters here, we're somewhat limited. So we went with the stricter standard of ISO. If you test to the ISO standard, it should pass the TIA standard if you were to try and do that. This patch cord here is two and a half meters. So I'm gonna go and select two and a half meters and hit the enter key. Plug in my patch code. They chirp to tell me they've been connected. Rotate the dial to auto test. Quick check, I've got CAT6A UTP set up, which is good. My T568B, correct. Let's hit the test key. It's going to warn me I didn't save my test result previously. I don't want to save that. Frankly speaking, it's a waste of time. It's a channel test. It's invalid. You cannot certify patch cords doing a channel test. And we start running the test. The CAT 6A test does take a little bit longer than the CAT 6 or CAT 5E test because we are running out to 500 megahertz. And good news, it passed. Our return loss passed with a margin of 2.9 dB. 
and our near end cross top pass with a margin of 3.3 dB. We're good to go. And that is how you correctly certify a CAT6A patch cord.